Hi YouTube, Katie here with Vape Girl Review and today we're going to talk about grayscale liquids. I have some flavors I'm going to try out for you today and we're going to talk about it after the introduction. Alright guys, we're going to start off with the caramel vanilla and I'll take a bake for you and then describe it for you. Okay, so the caramel vanilla, you have caramel, yes, you have vanilla, yes, it's very good, but you also have a slight menthol undertone, which I'm not a big fan of. However, it works for this. I'm not sure how he did it, how he pulled it off, um, but the caramel vanilla does have that sweet, but has a slight, slight tone of the menthol taste. Um, personally, I prefer not to have that in this liquid, but it does make for a unique flavor. Um, it's not just caramel vanilla, caramel vanilla that you get everywhere else. It's caramel vanilla that's very different. Would I vape it all day long? Probably not. It's not really, really my choice. But with that being said, I think some of you would probably adore this, especially if you like a hint, a slight hint. Now, it's not overpowering, guys. It's not, I'm not talking punch you in the face menthol. I'm talking just a very aftertaste note of the menthol. It comes in cool, exhales cool, and you can definitely taste that menthol coming through. But it has the sweet effects of the caramel and vanilla which ultimately are the more powerful, more potent flavors here. Personally, though, I don't like anything menthol, so that's a problem for me. But I know a lot of you do, so that's probably going to be a plus for some of you. Personally, for me, I prefer it just to be straight caramel vanilla. But then again, you run the risk of it being like every other caramel vanilla flavor out there. So, so putting that in perspective, it's like... You know, I almost can't knock it for having that undertone because it does make it different. It does change things up a bit. So overall, I would give this a B. A 30 ml bottle of caramel vanilla is $6, so you really can't beat that. You can go to G-R-A-Y-S-C-A-L-E-L-I-Q-U-I-D-S dot com and you can take a look at their favorite selections. I have personally tried four of them. And I'm going to try right now the Vanilla Delight for you guys. Now, he told me that his bottles, he's got new bottles now, because these bottles are awful. They are hard to squeeze. I can't, can't hardly drip them at all. But when I purchased a different flavor, which we will talk about, it came in a new bottle, which should be the bottles that you guys possibly are getting. See, look, it's so hard to squeeze that. But with that being said... I mean, you're buying it for the e-liquid, not the bottle. But he is changing them, so that's great. Because I would definitely have a problem if these were the bottles. They hurt my fingers to squeeze. But he knew that, so he's changed it up. So there you go. That's problem solved. Okay, this is the Vanilla Delight. This is a refreshing flavor. Vanilla Delight is not um, an overpowering flavor. Again, I have another menthol undertones to it, but it's very refreshing. Um, between the Vanilla Delight and the Caramel Vanilla, uh, I can't really pick a favorite, but maybe the Vanilla Delight is a bit better, in my opinion. So I'm going to hit it again. Very refreshing, very good, crisp flavors, very tight. Now moving along to the bubblegum menthol. This is not a favorite of mine. I have vaped this one, and here's why I don't like menthol. So you guys, again with these bottles, it's hard to squeeze. You guys really can't judge off of my reaction to this flavor. 
because this flavor is intense for me. It's just too much for me. Um, I'll hit it for you and then try to get a better description. But ultimately, it's going to be down to your opinion versus my opinion. And if you like menthol, then this might be for you. Okay. Hold on. The menthol is very powerful. I still feel it, but it clears you up. <laughs> it clears you up. Um, in fact, I can't even hit this that long to taste any bubblegum flavored, which is unfortunate for me. Um, but for some of you guys, that might be okay. That I can taste the sweetness, but it really is like like bubblegum, menthol gum. And I don't chew bubblegum unless it's like juicy fruit. And then I'll chew it because it doesn't have menthol in it. It's sweet. Or fruit stripe gum or the, you know, the pink bubble gum. That's the stuff that I like to chew. Um, I'm not big on menthol. So those of you who are and you want a sweet menthol flavor that will clear you up, then the bubble gum menthol may be for you. It's not for me personally. So I can't tell you that I love it, but you might. So there we have it. Now I will talk about one flavor that I do not have up here right now, which is unfortunate. Eh, uh, I'm not going to go looking for it. It is the candy bar. Hold on, I think it's called candy bar. It's called chocolate candy bar. There we go. Chocolate candy bar. Now we're talking, baby. It is like a Snickers bar. I ordered this, bought it, had it sent to me. I love it. I love it. It's got the caramel. It's got the chocolate. It's got the peanuts. It's got everything I adore. I completely love Snickers. Snick? No, it's not Snickers. Ah! I completely love can chocolate candy bar. Seriously, guys, if I were to pick from everything that I have ordered, that is my number one choice. Um, that is more along the lines of what I prefer. I think you should definitely try it. These are three dollars, people. Three dollars, and you pay f just n three bucks. No worries. No risk. No risk. There's really no risk to, to three dollar e-liquid. And again, if you wanted to get a thirty mil bottle, it's only six dollars. So, you know, try it out. They have lots more options to choose from. They have coffee flavors. They have other menthol flavors. They have um, candied flavors. Um, personally, I like the vanilla delight. I like the caramel vanilla. They're not my favorites. Those probably get a B from me. Um, the bubblegum menthol, the bubblegum menthol is not up my alley at all. I will not grade it because it's not fair. It's not fair for me, somebody who despises anything menthol, to grade a menthol flavor. So you guys are really going to just have to um, look into it. And if you like the menthol with the little with the sweet taste, um, which is what's in here, I'll hit it again. Yeah, it's like chewing bubble gum. It is like chewing, you know, bubble gum that you would chew to make your breath smell better. <laughs> That's what it tastes like to me. Maybe not wintergreen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it's not for me. So it's not for, fair for me to grade the bubble gum menthol because it's not my choice. But with that being said, the chocolate candy bar gets an A. I love it. I adore it. And I am so glad I bought it. And yes, I bought it, purchased it myself. Chocolate candy bar. It's just smooth going in, smooth coming out. You've got the caramel flavors, the chocolate flavors, the peanut flavors, all of them wrapped around to a perfect blend of, you know, no calorie sweet treat. There you have it. But yeah, you know, I think that for the price point, they did a fantastic job price point because there's really hardly any excuse not to order it when you see the prices of these. And these two, they're good flavors. I give them B's. Um, this one, I can't grade for you, but the chocolate candy bar is an A, and I do think it's a must try. I adore it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Can you tell I love it? But it's not up here. I don't know why. And it's in the new bottle. The chocolate candy bar that I ordered is in the new, more squeegee bottle. More squishy. Squeegee. Squishable. Whatever. Squishable. Boop, boop. Anyways, yeah, these are, these are hard. These are hard bottles. Um, but the chocolate candy bar is very, I mean, it's so simple. It's easy. So I did not worry about that at all. They upgraded from these to those, and that's what matters. I think they have a white tip now on them, a white lid. Not that that matters. You know, ultimately the bottles don't matter. It does kind of suck, though, to try to drip these or fill up anything. Um, 
but you know, like I said, he changed it. He changed it and fixed it, made it for the better. So there you have it. Yes, Grayscale Liquids. I will put the link in the description so you guys can check them out. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Check them out, and there you have it. It'll be on its way to you very fast, mind you. He shipped them immediately almost. Like, same night I got the shipping notification. So, fast shipping, perfect. Perfect. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to go check you later. Don't forget to check out Grayscale Liquids and, you know, three bucks a bottle. But, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it, and I thank you guys who have. It means the world to me, and I definitely noticed. All right, check you later, guys. Bye.